So I've got a pretty decent collection of keyboards coming along. I've got some made from aluminium chassis, I've got some from plastic chassis, even a wooden keyboard. And there are a few variants from retro, modern and so on, different sizes. But there's one that I've never tried or even seen, which is a keyboard made from resin. Until now. So there we have it, our first ever resin board. This is by a company called Akko, I've worked with them in the past. On the MUO1, which was the wooden keyboard, this is the YUO1, or U, which stands for Jade in the Chinese language. So this is the art of typing with Jade, and I've gone for the white Jade, which looks absolutely fire. The fact that you can change the background colors of not just the keycaps, but also the bottom base, which has an LED strip infused within the resin, is such a beautiful design. To be able to have that two-tone or even the same tone on the board itself. Now with Akko, I've said this in the past, there are a few things that I wish they would change. One being having that little switch underneath the caps lock. Because with these only being PC keycaps, they are rather thin, so over time, having to keep pulling it on and off of the switch itself, it's going to start wearing. And again, having that switch in there is such a inconvenience because if it was on the back it'd be so quick it'd just be so simple now when it comes to the actual build quality of this thing don't get me wrong absolutely fantastic the build quality is like i've never held before the weight of this thing is unreal now it's obviously not weighted like ridiculous but it has got a bit of weight to it so it's nice and hefty with obviously it will be in resin it is definitely going to have some weight to it i haven't found any bubbles i haven't found any chips any scratches any dents anything like that within the resin so it's a very well made mold and the keycaps as well look so good when the rgb is flying through there because again, they are the transparent PC keycaps, they're a lot thinner and it just looks so transparent and so clear and so good. They've nailed that on the head. Now the profile for these keycaps are ASA, which has a slight curvature, but not too much. So it's a nice feel when you are typing. Obviously this doesn't have feet on it, so you can't raise it or lower it. So it is a very static typing mode. But again, because it is the ASA profile, it's a very nice typing profile anyway. This, like many others of their keyboards, are the multi-function. So you've got obviously the Bluetooth, the wireless dongle, and also the plugged in wired. With the Bluetooth, it is 5.0, and then it is 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi mode. The Bluetooth can connect to, again, your MacBooks, your laptops, your iPad, your phone, anything that has Bluetooth, this can connect to, so you can take it on the go. And the bonus of it having a 3,750 milliamp battery is gonna keep you working away for a while. Now, when I've worked with this company, every board I've had has been hot swappable. Same with this one, it is five pin hot swappable. So if you didn't like switches, if you wanted more of a tactile switch, then you can switch them out. For me, I feel like the Akko V3 Piano Pro switches sound crisp enough for me. They're linear, but they still have a tactile click. Now you can use their software to change the colors if you wish to, but I like to use the ones that are on board. It saves me having to download more software on the PC, but you can do that if needed. So just a little run through of their description on the website here. This is the YU01 coming in at $130. I think that's around £112. The YU01 is Akko's first ever resin board. It's also paired with them transparent PC plastic keycaps which offers that jade aesthetic. Now in Mandarin, jade is referred to as U, hence obviously the YU01. This is the resin case with 68 keys, then transparent keycaps for exceptional lighting performances. The advanced backlight and keycaps using VIA. The multi modes obviously being Bluetooth, dongle, and wired. And it having the two colorways, which is white jade. And the other one being antique jade with more of a yellow tone within the resin. So if you want to check out any of their products, there will be a link in the description. And at the moment, they also have their tech event for 2024. I believe this also runs out on the 24th of October, so you might want to be quick because what they're offering is some serious deals. They've got a limited time offer of 50% off. Their outlet deals of up to 50% off. If you share their post, you could be in with a chance of winning some switches. They're also having bundle sales where you can have 10 to 15% off. And if you buy more, you save more, where you can actually save up to 50 euros. So I'll leave them links at the very top of the description. You might even find yourself a cheeky deal on the website. Again, that runs out on the 24th of October. So, so you've only got a couple of weeks before this event ends and you have to pay full price. Now a massive thank you to Akko for sending this board over. First resin board, I can say secured and I love it. Now, obviously the board's not perfect. There are some little things that I find personal that I would change but again a first ever resin keyboard 
you've absolutely smashed it. But if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Let's start a conversation. I'd love to know your opinions on what you thought of a resin keyboard. And at the very end of this, there'll also be a sound test. But other than that, that's been everything for me. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video.